In this lesson, we'll conclude our review of Heart of Algebra concepts. We're in the official PSAT practice test, section 4, calculator permitted, question 27. A system of inequalities in a graph are shown above. Which section or sections of the graph could represent all the solutions to the system? So here we're given two equations, and you will have questions involving graphs of inequalities. So let's just think about graphing equalities. So I know it's y equals greater, less than, or equal to negative x. Let's make y equal to negative x. It has no y-intercept. We know it passes through the origin. And they actually give us this line. It has a downward slope. It's this line here. I'll just draw along to illustrate. That's this first equation. Now that's y equals negative x. Let's make it y is less than or equal. So we have the solid line because it's equal. And then all the region below less than will be the solutions for the first equation. Now let's do it for the second. Again, sometimes you may have to graph them, but here we already have the line. So notice it's greater than, but not greater than or equal to. And so that means if it's just greater than, it may be hard to see here, I'm just gonna use a different color, but it's a dashed line. And because it's greater than, the solutions will be all of this section. If you're ever confused, by the way, where to, shade the region above or below. So for in this example, just put in 0, 0, and you could see 0, 0 really doesn't make sense. So it has to be above. It's not below, which contains the origin. And so we want the region that has solutions to both lines. And you can see the one that includes both colors would be here. And so the answer is section R, A. All right, we've got one more question. Again, this is a gridding question, number 29. In, an arch in a college archaeology class, 78 students are going to a dig site to find and study artifacts. The dig site has been divided into 24 sections, and each section will be studied by a group of either two students or four students. How many sections will be studied by a group of two students? Another system of equations problem. I think this is the fourth one in this practice, BSAT. Again, sometimes they're in equation form. This one's in word form. So let's set up an equation. Let's start with the single variables, just the number of sections. We know there are a total of 24 sections, and there's two types of groups, groups with two or four. So let's say x, that would be groups of two, and y, groups of four. We know the total number of sections is 24. Now we need an equation to get the total number of students. 78 total students, and we've either, again, it's groups with two or four, we know groups of two, have two, so it's gonna be two x plus four y equals 78. Now there's several ways to solve it. You could use substitution, elimination. I'll even mention the intuitive method if you've watched these videos and uh, know what I'm talking about. So let's, I'm just gonna use elimination. I'm gonna multiply this top equation by negative two, and I'll just write it down here. So I get negative two x minus two y equals negative 48. I'm just going to copy the second equation down here. 2x plus 4y equals 78. And now I just combine the two equations. I know that the x's are going to cancel out. And I'm left with 2y equals 30. Now be careful. Remember, y is the number of groups with 4. The question's asking for groups of 2. So we know that y equals 15. So here I'm gonna rewrite this equation here. It's x plus y equals 24. We know that y, the groups with four, is 15. And so the answer for x is nine. I'm just gonna review the last method. Again, if you've watched these videos, I think this is an important concept for word problems with system of equations. A much faster way, a much more efficient way to do these is we have, we know, two types of groups. Groups of two and four, the total number of sections, 24. What you can do is think about what's the minimum number in both, right? The minimum number has to be two or four is two. So what you can do whenever you see this problem is start all 24 with the minimum. Two times 24. Now this is not the answer, but it's a true statement. They all have at least two students, so I'm gonna make all 24 sections two, that's 48. The true number of students is 78, so that's 30. So we have to make up 30. The difference between the minimum, two, and the and the, obviously the maximum, the only other variable is two. This is the interval, it's two between them. So we've gotta make up 30 points with these intervals of two, you divide by two, and then you get 15. 15 is the number 
for four, groups of four, and so then you could end up with nine as well. So hopefully you remember this technique. I think it works really well with system of equations. If um, you're doing these out of sequence, you might want to review some of the earlier algebra videos. I think I talked about this in the second or third algebra video, but this is our last algebra video. We will now move on to passport to advanced math.